Welcome to Health Hacks MD. Today we're diving deep into the world of frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis is a condition where your shoulder joint becomes stiff and painful. But here's the kicker, it's easily reversible if recognized and treated early. So stick around as we uncover all the details on how to detect and treat this pesky problem. All right, let's break it down. Picture this, your shoulder joint is wrapped up tight like a saran wrap. That's essentially what's happening with a frozen shoulder. It's a condition where the connective tissue around the shoulder joint becomes thickened and tight, limiting movement. This condition comes in three phases. In the freezing phase, you'll develop diffuse, severe, and disabling shoulder pain in all directions that is worse at night, accompanied by increased stiffness that lasts for two to nine months. In general, you're still able to perform basic tasks like raising your hands, washing your hair, and unhooking your bra if you force yourself through the pain. Next comes the frozen phase. Your pain is much better, but now you're completely stuck beyond a certain point. Usually you will have minimal pain until you reach the end of your range of motion. Then it really hurts and your shoulder cannot move anymore even if you force it. This frozen phase can last for four to 12 months until the next phase. Check out this short video. You can see in this video, this person's arm is relatively painless until he reached a certain point. That resembles a frozen phase. Finally, the thawing phase, the gradual return of range of motion that can take from 5 to 24 months to complete. It's like watching a frozen lake melting away bit by bit until you can finally move your shoulder freely again. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of diagnosis and treatment. Most of the time, frozen shoulder can be diagnosed by exam alone. Imaging is only performed mainly to rule out other injuries to your shoulder. Once identified to be a frozen shoulder, we find out what phase you are in. Meet Alex. Alex is a 40-year-old woman suffering from diabetes who came to see you for a shoulder pain that started one month ago. The pain radiates down her arm and sometimes even make her fingers numb. It also radiates up her shoulder and neck on exam, her shoulder is in excruciating pain in all directions, making it difficult for her to lift it up herself or even for you to do it for her. But if you push just hard enough, she can actually raise her arm quite well with excruciating pain though. Now, a question for you. What does she have? Frozen shoulder, of course. The title kind of gave it away. But the symptoms Alex is having is very common in frozen shoulder. She also has several risk factors that predispose her to the disease, including being between 40 to 60 years old, being a woman, and having diabetes. Specifically, Alex is in the freezing phase because while she is still in pain, her stiffness is not at the point where she is completely stuck and the one month duration of pain also gave it away. Now, what would you do to treat her? In the freezing phase, think of a cut of steak that was just placed in the freezer for an hour. It's stiff, but will thaw pretty quickly. In this case, a steroid shot in the joint can almost instantly reverse the stiffness and pain. It's like a magic bullet, but this shot still needs to be followed by aggressive exercise plan to increase a patient's range of motion. Otherwise, she will go back to how she was before pretty fast. What if Alex was in the frozen phase instead? You will imagine the steak has been placed in the freezer for days instead of one hour. It'll take forever for the steak to thaw. In this case, the steroid shot is only minimally effective. She might actually need something called hydrodilation, where fluid or saline is injected directly into the joint to stretch it out, or even surgical manipulation to break up the adhesion. This happens in the OR. Finally, if Alex was in the thawing phase and it had been almost 18 months since her symptoms started, well, she might as well just sit tight and wait for her shoulder to sort itself out because the shoulder usually finished thawing by 24 months anyway. 
So here's a takeaway. If you suspect you have frozen shoulder or notice somebody struggling with it, don't delay. See a doctor right away. Remember, early intervention is key to smoother recovery. And if your shoulder is already stuck, understand it's either a waiting game of 5 to 24 months for it to resolve on its own, or more invasive procedure might be the next step. Take care of those shoulders, and until next time, stay well.